Hi, my name's Bethany. This is my no makeup look. Glossier versus MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. Here are some of the products we'll be working with today. Thanks for watching my video. Welcome and thanks for coming. Uh, I wanted to talk today about just like a regular day makeup because one of the things I've noticed is we've really adopted this on camera full face makeup which is lovely because I freaking love it. I'm here for it, full coverage, the whole nine, look how you want to look, I'm all about that. And then the other thing that's been trending and really moving into uh, the hearts of everyone is more of a barely there makeup, the no makeup, the lightly flawless but still kind of embracing your natural skin tone and texture. Um, so a lot of the brands that are doing that, uh, one of the famous ones right now is Glossier. And I really wanted to give it a try. Uh, in previous, I was actually using the MAC Studio Face and Body. Um, it's not my favorite. Now, I've never really done well with MAC products, and not because I don't like MAC as a company, I actually think they're great. It's more so um, something about what they use in their uh, formula that just my skin doesn't like. So that's gonna happen with different brands, I think, for different people, and it's not that they have bad products, because that's not it. For some people, this might be great for their skin. For some people, this might be like the only thing they can wear. Um, but still, I find this tingly on my face, and I just don't think it's supposed to be tingly. So anyways, enough of that. We're gonna compare the two. I'm gonna do uh, my left side in a Glossier. I got a whole bunch of things from Glossier, so I'll do a full Glossier on this side. And then what I've been using uh, before I got to Glossier on this side. So I have some products like um, milk, Physician's Formula, some Urban Decay, uh, Charlotte Tiburi, so we're going to do that side. But first and foremost, the most important thing to any skin is just skin care. Okay, uh, I like to tone. I'd love to tone my body, but let's just start with my face. Witch Hazel is the toner that I use. This is just like a life brand, Witch Hazel. There's lots of different versions and variations that you can do for sure. Brands will just have witch hazel and it will just be a spray. I've even seen some beauty gur gurus in the community just lightly tap it into their skin. Like they'll just put it on their fingers and then just tap it into their skin like a serum. Hydration too, so I need to be hydrating. I um, am super kind of into Kiehl's right now as a brand. What I have is this tiny, tiny, tiny little sample. And I'm almost out, but um, I haven't been working, so it's hard. It's hard out here, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to use what we have, appreciate what we have, however big or however little. Um, it's not about spending the most money to get like the best things, but it's about using what you have and using what you have well. And uh, it'll all work out. I'll be working in no time, or, you know, there'll be money enough for all the skincare I want in the future. When with some eye cream now, I know a lot of people in the beauty community don't really believe in eye cream. I'm using the Banana Bright Eye Cream from Ole Henriksen. Rickson. Henriksen. Ole Henriksen. I'm not good at words. Um, so we're just gonna tap in a little bit of product into our eyes. Well, no, not into our eyes, Bethany. That's that's not what you want to do. That's, that's just too much. We're going to tap the product into the under eyes. Now, oftentimes, especially for um, photo shoots or if I have days on camera, I will use cold spoons. I will use um, some type of rolly stone or whatever. But if you are not doing that, what I do recommend is the tapping method. So you never want to pull down, like gravity's already doing that to your face and the rest of the body. But light tapping is um, kind of like some form of drainage. And a lot of the times the dark areas under our eyes, it's almost like a bruise. We have very thin under eyes. So just bringing a little bit of light circulation, I think, helps. Um, I do suffer from like very sensitive eyes, swollen eyes, it's a hereditary thing. Um, I also, I'm pretty sure I have what's considered deep set eyes. Um, so I'm 
often very insecure about how dark and how much baggage I have, not just emotionally, but also on my face. Uh, treat and then we let go because yes, you do what you can and then the rest you just gotta let go because this is my face and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so embrace it. Now we are going in with my daily moisturizer. It is also SPF 40. So I'm just using the Origins. So finding something that you can wear every day that's going to provide you moisture and coverage uh, is important. Definitely gives you a very dewy look. Like if you're looking for a, almost like a cold cream. But this is where it's going to separate into separate categories. So this is going to be a Glossier moment. So this is the, um, I don't know if you can see it there, the Balm.com Universal Skin Salve and versus the Buttermilk Mask for Lips. Now this is a nighttime treatment from Kiehl's, but I use it any time of the day. Like, what are you going to do? Huh? You going to get the police? The police are going to stop me? I don't think so. Throw it on this side, which is my left side, is going to be all the Glossier stuff. And then the Glossier is um, a product that goes on pretty light. It's more of a tint. It's not full coverage. Although I would classify it in a, a low medium. Like I wouldn't say it's no coverage or it's stronger than most tints that I've used. Um, so we're going to give this a whirl, this side. Um, I find that it's easiest to apply with my fingers. I think that the beauty community has weirdly moved into this um, fingered... <laughs> That sounded funny. A uh, product, which is a shame because I don't know about you, but I spent a whole bunch of money on brushes and sponges. So thanks for switching the game. Just another way to get us to spend our well earned wealth on products. So I initially will put it on my skin, kind of almost like a, a lotion of sorts. And then I go in with my sponge, blend and blend it out. Now, honestly, just looking at this, I, so this is no makeup and this is makeup. It's very minimal, but it's not nothing. The thing I like about these style of foundations is I really think it's good for men. Men who don't want to have like a full face or that you don't want people to be able to tell you're wearing a little bit of makeup. I think these um, styles of makeup are really great for the male community because like everyone wants to have flawless looking skin and gender should never, should never stop someone from feeling beautiful. So. I think this one's great because it's easy to apply. You don't need a sponge. I'm just a perfectionist. You could definitely just pat it out with your fingers or kind of continue rubbing it in. It's just you don't want to rub too hard on your face. Like I said, gravity is already like doing its damage. So like everything you want to do is just, you know, pick it up, love it a little, touch it lightly, gently, like a lover. <laughs> Now this one's a lot liquidier than uh, this. Like this isn't a cream by any means. Like this wouldn't be compared to most foundations. It's still definitely in the tint variety, but it's more of a serum, like thick like a serum, not a cream. But this, this is more like, um, I don't know, watery. I guess that's the best way I could describe it. Definitely, like you can already see it's like pouring down my fingers, whereas the other one was not doing that so what are you gonna do see I already feel it really tingling on my face let me know in the comments if I'm the only person that experiences this with this specific product or if you experience tingling with other people's products like other brands because I think that's just the thing every skin is gonna be different um, trust trust yourself so even if the like top beauty guru, guru in the whole world goes for this one product and you're like, oh, I don't know, it wasn't my favorite. Like, trust yourself because it might just be that it didn't work on your skin type and that's okay. They are both kind of buildable, I think. So like if I wanted to, you could add 
a little bit more product. I think most things are build buildable. When something isn't buildable, it's because like applying more just takes off product. So that's kind of rare in the good product section that that would occur. Um, I, at first, wasn't really that wild about this concealer. I know a lot of people get super excited about it and they just think it's uh, really dewy, really light. Um, but for me, I guess I'm just so used to a full face of cover coverage because I work in film and television and I'm always wearing like full coverage makeup. But I find that it's so irritating to my skin to wear that much makeup and for 12 to 16 hours that during this hiatus, during this breakdown of society, I've been allowed to just let my skin breathe and kind of be its own person. It's definitely impacted how I've seen my face, how I feel about my face, how I feel about makeup in general. So I, I have take, taken a break from social media, I've taken a break from makeup, and I've just been trying to, you know, exist where I'm at, embrace where I'm at, and kind of be gentle to myself and to everyone around me. Because this is the thing, like we're all going through... A shared experience but just because it's a shared experience experience doesn't mean we're all going to feel the same way about it as we witness other people dealing with the trauma of the current state of affairs in the world differently next I'm gonna go in on the other side with my uh, naked skin shape-shifting palette and this whole break I've just been exploring what I like and what makes me feel happy so this is kind of the different co coverages or colors here they're very comparable you get more product in the Mac and I think it's like $36 and this is like $34 but you definitely get more products but okay next we're going to go in with a contour scope holoscope topaz draw do effect highlighter and it does have like almost like um, a balm in the center and I would classify this as like um a summer tan sun-kissed golden a little bit of sparkle in it I've noticed so I'm just gonna actually place it where I would put my um, contour lines naked uh, shape shifter palette went a little heavy went really heavy that happens sometimes. Sometimes you just, you go heavy. <laughs> so, blend into my hairline, blend into my jawline, so my face doesn't look as fat. Ooh. We're gonna do the other side. The other side is more creamier. Plus, left it on a little longer, so I wonder if I'll just have this crazy line. Eh. And I don't want to look too crazy by having one side of my face shaped a bit differently than the other. But I mean, who has an even face? I know I don't. I'm pretty sure, like, this eye is up higher than the other, and then I think this jaw juts out more, so. <laughs> even who? Embrace your flaws, people, or you will look like an alien. Unless you're going for that look, which I have seen, so that's fine, too. I'm going to go in with Puffed. Um, I don't think I picked the right color for my skin tone. I would classify this as a white person sunburn look, at least for me. Um, so I'm just going to throw a little on it in the apple. What's going to look the best on camera? Um, I don't think always looks the best in person. Next, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, but on my cheeks. So kind of just the same thing I did on one side. Next I'm going to go into the lip. I don't want too hard of a line. So I just put that over the Kiehl's lip mask and over the .com um, salve or balm. This is probably where it's going to look the weirdest because this pink is just so much lighter than the Glossier Boy Brow. Now the applicator on this is short and stubby. 
This is darker in color than my Physician's Formula. I think I went too light on the Physician's Formula. The best way to make a trend is to own what you have, and you never want to be in the trend. You always want to be before the trend anyways, so like getting on any trend wagon honestly might not be worth the money or the damage it could cause. So whether it's like henna freckles or whatever, like just just be cautious. It's like trends change, but like who you are, that's the most awesome power you have. And like being confident in what you have and who you are will always be in fashion. And what makes you feel good might not be on trend. So who cares about what anyone else is trying to sell you? Like you're always out there selling yourself and confidence is always in fashion. Owning your own image and owning your own body type and owning how you look as it being the boss, as it being the best, that's what's hot. So I don't know if that helps you out. It's a good reminder. At one point in time, people were plucking out their freaking eyelashes and eyebrows and, you know, who's got time? Just going in with the physicians. Now I do think that this one, because, oh, I don't know if I showed you the applicator. It is thin, 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 thin. So I feel like it takes a lot more swoops. But I think they're both effective. And I think they both will give you like a bold brow without it being too much work. Because that's the other thing is like, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing my makeup. Now typically I don't wear mascara because my eyes are very sensitive as I said before but for the look I'm going to put some on for you guys today so I'm just gonna quickly curl my lashes you know make it look popped and I, I do think that this for me on an everyday like not on camera that's enough like I think this look right now I would stop. Just a little bit I know right now most people are just looking for something to make them, you know, feel a little better. And I think self-care is a great way to do that because, yeah, it does feel like the world is on fire right now. There is so much going on, so many ways that we can improve. And there's a saying, it's like, hard to know what love is and to love other people until you love yourself. So I think a lot of the hate that we're seeing in the world, I think those same people that are putting out the hate truly don't really love or even like themselves. Because how can you, how can you truly exist in a world and hate your neighbor so much? It's like everywhere you go, there you are. And like people are just a reflection of, of kind of like your own heart and you get what you put into the world. So this is my no makeup makeup. My everyday. And uh, I hope you had fun. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope I can make more. So thank you for being here. Listening to me once again. Take care of yourself. And I think if you take care of yourself, we can help take care of the world.